Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a quick tip on Octane, one that I'm very excited about. Um, if you've used Octane for a long time, you know that one of the biggest complaints about it was the inability to do light linking. And light linking is basically if you put a light in your scene and you want it to affect only one object in your scene but not everything, that's called light linking. And Octane was notoriously unable to do this until recently. So if you upgrade your Octane to, I think it came out with version 4, I'm on version 4.01, you're gonna notice a few new options in your render settings. So we're gonna ignore these, but this is basically the setup that we can access through our tags as well to do light linking. So I'm gonna fire up this render. All right, so if you guys want this free clock model, this is kind of a train station clock. It's on our website, I just put it up. It's a nice free model you can download. So this is lit right now with an octane daylight tag. If we go into here, we can turn the power down. Now let's say that we like the brick wall a lot, but the clock is a bit too dark, and we also want some glossy reflections. So let's put in a new light, and we'll pull it out here. We'll scale that up a little bit, and let's go to the opacity and dial that down so we don't see it. And let's move it over here. All right, so we have this light, and it's lighting up our clock, and we're getting that nice kind of reflection here. The problem is that it's also lighting up our brick wall, and we don't want it to do that. All right, so in our tag, you're going to notice that we have a light pass ID. So just remember that this is in here. What we're going to do is go to the object that we want excluded, so this brick wall. We're going to right-click, go to Cine40 Octane Tags, and we're going to add a object tag. In that Octane tag, if you go to Object Layer, you can see that we now have this Use Light Pass Mark. And I think this is a typo, I think that's supposed to be Mask. So Use Light Pass Mask, it's disabled. Let's enable that, and then we're gonna get these Light Pass Masks. So we'll have an S, let me move this over a little bit. We have an S, an E, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these check marks all correspond to lights. So if we remember in that tag, we had a Light Pass ID of one. That means that that is light one right here. So let's uncheck that. And as you can see in our render, now that light is not affecting our brick wall, which is pretty amazing. This is something we've been wanting for a long time. So if we uh, crank up that light, you'll be able to see that it's still affecting the top of this brick wall. So all we have to do is just control drag that tag and put that on the other piece. And now you can see that that piece is also not being affected by this light, which is fantastic. So if we put in another light, let's throw in another light, and we'll point it at the wall and we'll dial it up a little bit. You'll notice that we're also not seeing it in the wall. That's because anytime you put in a light, it always comes in with a light pass ID of one. So if we check this up to two, now it's going to be affecting the wall. And if we don't want it to be affecting the wall, we can go back into our tags and uncheck number two, and then that light also will not be affecting it, but it will be shown on that clock. So that's just kind of a quick primer on how these work. You can put up to eight different lights in your scene and specify what part of your scene they are lighting up. And just one last thing, we also have an S and an E. I believe S is for sunlight and E is for environment. So if we uncheck environment, then our daylight tag is not going to affect that brick wall either. So you have the ability to do that. So now just by playing around with these tags, you have a lot more flexibility and power to design your lights the way that you want them. So hope you found that useful. Thanks as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.